Hi, Trisha here. Um, you can see I'm just finishing some uh, little watercolour washes here. Uh, so I'm going to show you how I made these using the Daniel Smith watercolours um, from the Primatech range. So uh, let's get ourselves started. seen my video uh, previously where I tested uh, 12 of the Daniel Smith watercolours um, then do pop over and uh, have a look at that it's on my channel um, this is just a really quick little watercolour sort of sketch um, that I did um, you can see on my palette here I've actually got all the paints out from the testing that I did so uh, uh, yeah, it's just a, a quick little um, go, just trying to see what happens when you mix and use these watercolours together. Um, I've squared off my paper here. I'm actually using um, a mixed media paper. It's quite smooth paper. Um, just going to speed this up now because uh, as exciting as it is to uh, watch me painting and watch my paint dry, <laughs> I think you'll appreciate it a little bit faster. Um, but yeah, I'm using quite a smooth paper here, so um, not the greatest paper to use, I have to say, for this. It hasn't got a little tooth on it at all, so uh, not brilliant, but a good tester to see what happens when these colours get mixed together. Uh, I'm using the uh, Daniel Smith uh, Primatech colours here, and they're supposed to be granulating. As I said, if you haven't watched my previous video of the test, then do go and see it. Um, but what I did get as well is not in the Primatech range, but um, were these uh, luminescent colours. So I've got um, a gold here, I think it's Aztec gold, and a a pearlescent white it is sorry about that yeah it's uh they're a bit strange really um because actually the the gold the aztec gold when you add a lot of water with it um it does granulate not that it's supposed to just because the um the little gold sort of iridescent pigments are so heavy in it so you get like a lot of water and just random pigments but the um the pearlescent white um that goes really nice actually it just kind of makes a um what do i want to say like a translucent um sparkle can't massively see it on here though unfortunately but never mind i didn't have lots of color on my palette you can see there um and uh it's kind of created quite watery washes. These paints can be quite strong, but um, not when they're really watered down. So I'm using a pen here. Um, it is actually just a water soluble pen. So um, as you wet it and that, this will move around a little bit. Um, and I've got it in a, a gray, just uh, not quite as strong as using the black, it's quite a dark grey colour but um, it's a little bit softer than using a full on black pen. This little um, squaring up of the paper here, um, I started doing this last year when I did my 100 day project where uh, I did a 100 mini artworks um, and I really enjoyed the sort of working quite tiny each day um, and creating a small little piece um, and so I actually squared up loads of paper with them uh, I think they're 10 by 10 squares um, yeah lots of fun if you haven't worked small like this really great and it's really nice just to do little testers and to be uh, painting without without feeling like you've got to make a massive piece of 
piece of work. Um, it's just nice to play sometimes. So I've just opened up this um, Mayan Blue Genuine, uh, which is quite um, quite a nice blue colour. that I've got here is a squirrel brush it's just quite a small one it, it holds a lot of water though so I'm putting quite a lot of water into this you can see and I am trying to get that slightly granulated feel to the paint but um, yeah I'm not totally convinced that that they all granulate really well. I think you have to be quite choosy with some of these Daniel Smith colours to see whether they do granulate. Here we go, so this is almost my finished piece, see me? Um, it was quite good fun, it was quite nice to have a play about and see how these paints sort of bled into each other. So get your paints out and have a go. I'd love to see what you're up to. And let's just see here, can you see? Slight sparkle? Hmm, a little bit. <laughs> Um, thanks for watching this video to the end, really appreciate it um, and uh, have some fun.